Hello? Can anybody hear me? <laughs> Do we have sound? Yes, 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 yay! <laughs> so I made my coffee and it was my first time trying to make cappuccino with almond milk and not cow milk. So it was an adventure, but it formed. Beautiful, right? <laughs> so, welcome. Uh, I'm back to to color this thing, which we um, you have witnessed me draw yesterday, and I will try to uh, color it with watercolors and try not to completely ruin it. Um, about the almond milk, I'm not sure yet. I'm so used to the taste of cow milk that that it's 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 kind of weird, but I have to. I can't say that it's not good. I will try a little bit more. Mm. Mm. It's actually not bad. I think the almond taste it fits well with coffee. So, um. First, I will try to erase some of the lines here. Um, why is it doing this? Let me check. Sounds like a plane is crashing nearby. <laughs> no, I don't need the autofocus. Yes. Yes. Are we focused? Not really, right? I have to check the camera settings a little bit. No. That's not better. <laughs> okay. Then like this. So. Hello. I know this person. Welcome. I'm trying not to erase too much because it it kind of makes the structure of paper weird sometimes. So I'm just 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 a little bit. And I think a lot of it will disappear when I use color, anyways. Uh, so mega, I glaub. Es werden nur Follows im Video angezeigt, die tatsächlich jetzt in diesem Moment passieren. Aber so richtig sicher bin ich mir auch nicht. Ich bin doch selber voll der Twitch Noob. So, how was your day, people? Tell me something. How, what, what did you do today? I actually just came from work. And this is why I'm a little bit late. Hey honey ball. So I didn't do anything very exciting today yet uh, either. So of course work is always sometimes a little bit interesting because I do concept art for a game and so I get to be creative most of the time and unfortunately I can't tell you anything about what I'm doing at work so <laughs> everything is a big big secret because uh, most stuff I'm working on will be seen in the game in months so I can't tell you anything about this 
but that's always the case when, uh, case when you work in games. So, since nothing else happens throughout the day, except work, which I can talk about, I'm a little bit boring right now. <laughs> Congratulations on being healthy, Kiva! <laughs> Every time I go to the doctor and they get my uh, my blood for some tests or anything, I uh, until I get the results, I'm always panicking like I have the worst sicknesses of the world and I'm going to die. And then the results usually come in and there is just nothing. <laughs> so, um, it always helps not to worry too much. And yes, I am belly dancing. I, I started uh, doing belly dance um, because I was searching for something which I could do as a regular kind of sport. And because I hated the gym and everything which is really sports related, um, a friend of mine suggested, why don't you try belly dancing? I'm doing it for years now. And uh, she took m me with her to, to a tryout lesson. And I really liked it because it engages all the muscles of your body, especially the core muscles, like the back and the belly, of course, belly dance, yeah. And um, because of, uh, of that, it's actually really intense as a training and it's still fun because it's dance and because you are uh, among nice women who dance with you and everything is fun and you have nice music and you also learn to move your body in a beautiful way and you feel really feminine while doing so. So I can only recommend it if you have a cool school or group which teaches belly dancing or tribal belly dance in your area, you should try it. It's amazing. Um, there were more questions. Uh, am I working on a manga right now? Um, not exactly a manga. But I'm working on a comic project. Of course, since I have a job, I can't work on it as much as I would like to sometimes. But um, I am trying to find time for it because I really miss doing my own stories and drawing my own comics. So, um, yeah, it will be a story. Which I can, uh, you have probably seen a little bit, um, some teasers on Instagram because I have posted some. It will be Crimson Crush, a magical girl who is a little bit different from the usual magical girls you are used to because she is not a high school girl anymore but a grown adult woman. So she's a magical woman. <laughs> and it will be a story about her, um, adventures and her life and stuff and I don't know if I'm such a good storyteller so I'm trying to figure everything out and try to write and design characters and so on and I'm showing you sneak peeks uh, now and then and probably I will also do some live streams drawing Crimson Crush stuff. And of course you can do belly dancing as a thin person too. We have, um, in our class, we have dancers of all shapes and ages. And we even had a transgender woman um, for a while. I, she left, I don't know why, probably she moved to another city or something like that. So uh, everybody can belly dance. Like, you don't have to be a special body type or person type or anything <laughs> to do it. You just have to enjoy it. And um, yes, 
the main character of Crimson Crush, uh, whose name is Kohanna, she um, is inspired by me. Actually, um, it was inspired by all of those little daily life comics I was drawing about myself and because everybody seems to like them and I enjoy drawing this kind of character which is a little bit like my personality and my reactions to things but I don't want to make a story about me so it's like more a little bit like me but not exactly me so I can make a completely crazy story and have some weird love stories in it for example and it has nothing to do with my own life because I can exaggerate or make things that never happened and so on <laughs> and yeah I'm sorry that uh, the third part of independent never happened there was a, a lot a lot of things happening in the time which stopped us from working on it and now it's kind of late um, but I'm still sometimes thinking how we could maybe make it possible to somehow end the story but right now I don't have any idea but maybe one day if I have time and I, can, I will ask Riyami what she thinks about it and maybe one day like 20 years later <laughs> uh, there will be a independent retirement comic or something <laughs> i don't know i would really love to to make an end to the story but at the same time it's a little bit complicated so let's let's try try to do something here um, I need something. Wait a second, I'll be back. So, the important thing I had to get was this, tissues, because I'm going to mess with watercolors now and I need to clean my brushes a lot while doing so, and yeah. Um, so when doing watercolor stuff, what I need is some watercolors, for example, this time I use these ones. Um, I have several different brands. These are from Kuretake. By the way, please note that on uh, this side of the screen, I wrote down the tools I'm using. So, because the questions appear every once in a while, and I hope you all can read it. And yeah, these colors look so new because I rarely use them. I usually, usually, uh, I use my really small watercolor case. Wait a second. Um. So this is my favorite watercolor case, which I carry around with me all the time. Uh, and it looks much more like a mess, as you can see, because I actually use it a lot. And the colors are always flying around. So, the basic thing is from Vincent Newton, but I have exchanged several of the colors because I didn't use them as much and I wanted to have different colors in there. So this is my to-go watercolor box and mostly I use this one also at home, but I also always end up buying other art supplies just to try them out and because I'm curious or because somebody else recommended them. Um, this was one of those buys. and. Since I rarely use it, I wanted to use it now. <laughs> so they are pretty new, but I use some of the colors, as you can see. I use the different reds, and I also have tried all of them out, so I, I see what the colors look like. So 
I have this next to me just to see what the colors look like in person. And those ones are also from Kuretaka, I think, and I bought them in Tokyo. These are like, they all look like black, but they are actually not. They are like really, really dark um, blackish colors, which fade out in different tones. So I will use this. I always need a tissue next to me to clean the water brushes. I prefer using water brushes instead of regular ones because I'm used to them. I'm, I'm used to them because I always take them with me when I when I have my watercolors with me on the go and it's much, it's much more useful than having a glass of water with you when you are somewhere out and about. Um, so these are, if you don't know them, they are normal brushes but they are filled with water and you can refill them. This one is from Pentel. This one is, I don't know from what, from Stettler. But I bought this one in Japan. This one you can get on um, Amazon. And the useful thing about them is that you can just take the brush without needing to dip it into water and draw it immediately. And yeah, this is what I also always need is some sheet of paper to try my colors on before I go on to the final piece with them. So, as you can see, I have always some sort of waste paper where I test my colors on. Probably at some point in my life I will have just a huge collection of these kind of sheets. <laughs> Um, yeah, and what else? Um, a palette I sometimes use it, sometimes not. I should probably use it more often. And I also have a glass of water here to, to if, in case that I want to make some really wet effects. And I guess if, if maybe if I, if I'm a really smart person, I should maybe scan this. I ruin it. What do you think, guys? I will just do it. <laughs> and as a smart person, I always have a pile of shit on my scanner, so it, I have to remove it first and then I can scan. In the meantime, I will look if I have more more questions I have to answer. <laughs> I also have a feeling that right now everybody is going to Japan. Like a lot of my friends have been recent recently, and kind of weird. <laughs> Everybody's going to Japan. But it's also a cool, cool country, like really interesting and really different. There will be a Nintendo land in Japan. Wow. Um, yeah, let's start with the fun, fun part of everything. I have no idea what I'm doing. So first I think I will try to make the whole thing a little bit wet and I also should think what color I will be using. Okay, I 
nothing to fool me. Let's tap on this one. And sometimes I'm pressing on the water brush to to put a lot of water onto the paper. And this is why you need usually a good watercolor paper because every normal paper would just um, get super wavy from this. And I'm just starting out with some bluish background thing because under the sea and stuff. Yeah, and as you can see, I'm trying to, to do some sort of, of gradient going on here, so it, it, it is um, deeper and darker blue um, below and gets lighter on top. Maybe... Maybe I will use another color on top. By the way, I have the feeling I'm a total watercolor noob. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have friends, uh, friend artists who are so much better at this and I want to know their secrets and steal, steal their abilities. But at the same time, it's kind of fun to, to play around and I'm pretty sure someday I will get better at this. <laughs> but don't don't think that I'm a watercolor master and know what I'm doing. I actually have no fucking idea.
I'm sorry if sometimes I'm saying nothing. It's because I don't always have an idea what to say. And then if I'm doing colors right now, I can look into the chat. But I will be back in a second. The thing is that I can't pause this here too much because the colors get dry and then they don't run that funny anymore. And I want to have this wet effect. The good thing is once I'm I'm finished with this background thingy, I will have to t uh, time to look into the chat because it will dry forever for me. More water. slight blue situation here. What I like about watercolor is that it's quite forgiving when you like to work more messy and not too precise because it makes those beautiful stains and smears everywhere which which look really beautiful and you don't have to do much for them they just happen by themselves Hello, new followers. Enjoy.
So, um, I let it dry a little bit before I, I add more and I can actually read the comments and drink some coffee and answer your questions. Let's see. No, where is my dashboard? Why am I not logged in? Ah, there it is. Hey, chat, why are you not loading? Okay. Okay, for some reason I can only see... Oh, can I scroll back on the chat that I missed? Um, I can only see what's on the screen right now, so if I missed any of your questions, please type it again, just to be safe. Um, am I still in the anime and manga scene? Not really. I mean, I still read some and I still watch some anime. Um, but I'm not that much in the scene. I haven't been in the scene that much anyways for even when I was drawing manga because I thought the scene is kind of weird. <laughs> there was, I don't know, there was so much cattiness and, and people tearing each other down and talking weird things about other artists and so on. I, it seemed to me like there is a lot of drama and conflict which did, didn't need to be there so I was always kind of at least it was my impression of the scene as it was back then maybe it got much better and I just um, was there in a bad time or something like that but it seemed to me like it was, it was really petty and uh, somehow not not really encouraging for each other but more everybody was your enemy? I don't know. Am I the only one who had this this impression? I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I'm speaking about the German manga scene. I had the feeling that it was quite catty. I decided that he needs a little bit more shade here. Um... Thank you for the compliments that I'm good with watercolor. I'm, I'm happy. I sometimes really like the results when I'm doing watercolors and sometimes I think like, Ugh. usually it's when I do too much. So I will try to not do too much this time. Um, and yeah, I also like it the way it is, but the just the blue. I should just try while adding more colors to it, really try to make them more or less transparent and not too much of them um, to, to keep this lightness and not to take away too much from the line art. This is like my main goal here. Oh, by the way, get used to me dropping everything. I constantly drop stuff. Um... Let me open the picture of Jabba and Leia again for reference. Uh, will I sell this in my shop? I'm not sure because uh, all of the fan art and parody rules. I will upload it in the Redbubble store, but if they think it's copyright infringement and not enough of a parody, they can. Uh, they will just delete it. So. We'll see. <laughs> oh, somebody's saying it hasn't changed much in the manga scene. Oh, that's sad. Why? I actually the the being in the manga scene back then almost ruined the whole artist life experience for me. Hi. Um, because I was sure that 
all artists are like this at this time. I, I thought that the whole community is um, that everybody sees each other as conquerors and and an opponent and everybody just tries to be better than everybody else. And this is why I didn't have any art friends for many years because I thought all of them would just be my opponents and nobody and I was so surprised to learn at some point that actually other artists are super nice people and you can be helpful and encouraging to each other and inspire each other instead of being petty and trying to tear each other down and now I'm really proud and happy and lucky to have some really amazing artist friends and they give me a lot of inspiration and support in, in bad times and I hope I'm helpful for them too. <laughs> and it's it's really great to have people who you share your passion with. So I think if those problems still exist in the manga scene, that that people should really grow up and get over it because it's it's so much nicer when everybody just supports each other because it doesn't get worse for you when you're trying to be nice to other people. You still have your chances and your work and your, for example, your readers and your followers and they don't run away because they find another good artist. They will just like both artists. So it's good for everyone to 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 be friends and to support each other and not be bitchy and tear each other down. Um, so yeah, it's not, it's not in every artist scene. I have the feeling that right now the most artists I know are actually helpful and supportive people who, uh, who actually try to be nice to, uh, to everybody because maybe it's just because we are adults now. <laughs> Um, so... Any more questions? Ah, okay. Uh, I was also not sure about Streamlabs. It was like the first thing I got suggested and I set it up. Um, but I also saw that there is also tippy and um, I just didn't read up on it yet. It has some sort of fees. I don't know how they work, but maybe I will just use both or maybe I will switch to tippy. I, I don't know. <laughs> I have to read up on that. So you will see if, if I change it. <laughs> And yes, I have been thinking about adding my designs to QWERTY, but um, they have a special printing system where they can only use up to six colors. So you have to prepare your designs in a certain way with using dots, like halftone patterns. Uh, so you only use six uh, colors. And since most of my designs are not in this way, I would have to rework them to upload them to QWERTY. And I plan to do this for some designs, but I didn't have the time to do it yet. Uh, April Moose. No, I never finished this one. I have to finish it. <laughs> it's still on my hard drive waiting for, for me. I don't know. Um, once you stop uh, making an artwork for a while and you pause for too long, you forget about it and then it's it's there calling and guilting me into finishing it. Manga I'm reading right now. The, uh, right now I'm trying to reread uh, Akira again, um, but I'm not that far because I've, I have a big reading list to finish first and first I need to finish the book 
um, American Gods by Neil Gaiman because I want to watch the Amazon series American Gods, but I want to finish the book first. And it's such a it's a huge book. It's so fat, and it takes uh, because I don't have much time. I don't. It takes me so long to finish reading it, and this is why I don't get to read manga anymore. What is this doing here? Um, oh, I think we can continue slowly. Is that something I absolutely hate to draw? Yes, uh, all kinds of mechanical stuff, like cars and robots and everything. I think I just suck at it. Like, I don't know, probably because I, I'm not fascinated with mechanical stuff in real life too much, so I don't look at it that closely. So when I try to draw it, I think it just looks like when a 12 year old tries to draw a car. And yeah, this is why. Yeah. I mean, if I would have, uh, if I would just take the time to practice it, I would probably get better at it, like with everything. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm opening the reference again, just just to have it here. Um, I don't know if I want to, to be answering too many personal questions here. <laughs> Let's say it's complicated. <laughs> Actually, you, you can read up the story how I met my last boyfriend on my blog. And it's a dramatic one, if you can read jump. But, yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm thinking what colors I'm going to use now, because I need to, to figure out what, uh, how I want to do her skin, skin color, and all of the colors here are super vibrant. Maybe... This one is not bad.
So actually, as you can see, my my the way I watercolor is always kind of the same. I always take some color and and add a lot of water because it's a water brush. And I always test it on the paper first. Then I sometimes remove excess color uh, on the um, towel here, and then I try to put it on the on the final image and just hope that it works <laughs> in the end. And since it's underwater, I'm trying to do everything a little bit bluish, but so that it still looks like skin. And yeah, usually I would listen to music while drawing. The only thing is that if I would play music now, then the um, uh, I think Twitch would uh, mute all sound in this video in the recording, so all the people who want to rewatch the video will not hear anything, which is kind of bad because of copyright stuff. How did I mix this skin color thing? Not like this apparently. I have the feeling that watercolor artists who know what they are doing are using pal the palette instead of a shit ton of different papers. But since I, I have no idea what I'm doing, I'm just doing this. Oh, there was also the, the question what music I prefer. I prefer different music at different times, actually. I, I, I'm i more of a rock type of person than, than anything else, but it's not like I only listen to rock. I also listen to stupid J uh, pop and K-pop a lot because I think it's funny and it's, it keeps you awake. <laughs> and... What else? I'm always searching for good um, female rock singer, uh, singers because I really love listening to women singing, and most women's m women with beautiful voices for some reason do pop music, and every time I find. Uh, woman with a beautiful voice doing rock music, I'm really happy. So if you have any recommendations, post them. Also, if you have any recommendations of music I can actually play without Twitch muting it, please, please send them to me because I'm, I'm I have no idea what I'm doing here, and I'm just finding out everything while I'm while I'm doing it. As you can see, the color I use for the skin, there's almost no color at all. Like, it's mostly water with a little bit of uh, of color, which is for, for light skin tones, this is 
the best way you can do it with watercolor because as as soon as you add too much color to it it just looks weird if you're drawing somebody with a darker skin color you can use much more color of course and I'm always trying to add some reds to make it a little bit more alive but most of it is just a lot a lot a lot of water and the nice thing about this paper is that you can use some of the test um, stains to make your brush a little bit more colorful Oh, thank you, Kaya. I'm being hosted. That's cool. I have to write down the, the recommendations I got. Where? Oh, the chat is in the video. I will just look in the video after all. Um, uh, yeah, I'm also recording my streams. Um, so I know that Twitch will delete them at some point. But I want to upload them to YouTube too, so people can actually see them, the, the people who missed out on the stream. <laughs> I'm sorry for Nightbot, he is a little bit harsh, but I, I got uh, him recommended, so so. I, I, right now I don't have any problems with spam, but he's giving an eye of that. Um, what am I doing next? So, since Slave Layer, uh, Slave Layer is wearing this um, purple-red skirt, Thing, I think I will make your, her whole tail in this color um, and I need to find this color does it look like this color? it does
uh, Queen Seda, the uh, 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 the paper is written up there in this corner. Ending some scales. Yeah, what else? Her bra is a little bit greenish, brownish. Hmm. And in this, this shade. Oh, thank you, Kiva. <laughs> thank you. Bye bye. And see you again. And you can watch the finished. Oh, oh, what's happening here? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> you can watch the how I finish this um, in the recording. Um, the, the brush, wait, can I add it to the description actually? Ha! Did it appear? Do you see it? There? Do, do, do. What else are we missing here? What I should do is the um, algae thing which he uses to, to tie her up. And I take some green and mix it with some blue. I think that's a good color. Maybe a little bit more green.
I need to clean the brush a little bit because of all the green in there. So she's almost done, I think. What I plan to do is um, for her gold details of her gold bikini is to actually use gold, but I will do it as a last step before I mess it up. Um, so maybe she needs an eye color. Do you know what uh, what eye color Princess Leia has? Anyone? Anyone? Leia's eye color? Is it brown? Not green? Not greenish brown? Jabba's eyes are a beautiful shade of orange, which we will give him now. So now I'm thinking how I'm going to do him without making everything too colorful because he's actually brownish but since he's a shark I don't want to make him too brown.
Why not have a green shark? Why not? Hello, new follower. Let's remind the people of Instagram that I'm streaming so that they can see the last moments. Ooh. Hello, people of Instagram. Currently, this is happening. And coffee and streaming. Come take a look. <laughs> And I continue to give and give Jabba colors. Yeah, it does look like he has algae on his back. Then it fits to the to the whole sea theme. Or maybe he's slowly rotting. Which also would not surprise anybody.
I'm looking at, at the reference picture of him and he to check where he has green and where he is not green anymore, but he has a lot of green actually. Probably because of his rotting personality. Sometimes I'm just adding water first and then adding more color. To have a little bit more of a smooth gradient. Any questions? Anything? Any comments? Because I don't know what to say. For example, you all can tell me your favorite Star Wars moment. Ha! The the paper doesn't get wavy because it's watercolor paper. It's it's special paper you use for painting with watercolor and you buy it because it doesn't wave as much as as all papers which are not meant for watercolors. This is why it's usually more expensive um, than all other sketch papers. And as you can see, it is a bit waved. It's not straight anymore, but it's not as bad as any other paper would would do. I don't know which paper you used and I, I know that some of them are like more and some of them get less wavy and this one, this is why this one is one of my favorites so far. Unfortunately it's pretty expensive. But uh, you can also get other good papers which are not that expensive which also don't wave that much. And some papers they get wavy but then they get pretty straight back if you Especially if you put something heavy on them and let them regain their form. 
So the last thing I'm going to do is give this slug shark thing a little bit of a yellowish brown going on in his face just to add some shading but I don't want to do too much of it because I think it looks pretty good right now. I'm also adding a little bit of blue to it to to keep the undercolor look uh, underwater color look. God, I'm so confused. Hello, albino scribbles. I think he's coming along disgusting, which is a good thing. <laughs> Hello, person who was with me at the Hatika. It was the gravity uh, design school where I have uh, have been. 
um, what do I want to improve in art this year? I think, um, I mean, I constantly want to improve everything, but it's not really possible to do this because there's just so much you can practice and improve. But I think in general, what I would like to do is get a little bit, um, what I'm already working on is that my lines get more light and less, how do I say it, less stiff and a little bit more flowy and lively. So this is what I want to do. I also want to get a little bit better in character design in terms of uh, male characters because I also need some male characters for my stories, so I can't only do girls all the time. And I mean, I can draw some men, but I think they are not yet that relatable as the girls I'm drawing are. So this is what I want to improve. And uh, also maybe do more watercolors or traditional art in general, just get more used to it and uh, maybe a little bit faster in doing everything I'm doing. And also what I'm struggling with a little bit because I'm doing a lot of traditional art right now is um, I'm not really happy with my digital painting style. I think, I mean, it works, it's, it's okay, but it lacks my personality. I think it could be more actually me and less just something generic. And this is what I'm trying to focus on this year. And it's already a little bit much to focus on. <laughs> Nina! Hey, Nina! Kloffer is the only one who wrote his favorite uh, Star Wars moment. <laughs> I need more favorite Star Wars moments here. Um, what artists I like and what artists inspire me? Oh my god, it, there are so many. Um, I mean, from the more known artists of art history, you might have noticed that I'm a big fan of Alphonse Mucha, which you can see back there on my wall. Now I have to fix the camera again. Don't fall. Is this right? Yeah. So it's one of my big heroes which inspired me, especially at a young age. But I think there are so many artists that I like that I could make an entire video just talking about artists that I like. I mean, hmm. Maybe I will just, just make a video and post it on YouTube where I recommend some. Or sometimes I'm sharing artists I like and, and friends of mine who are artists on Instagram, so you could follow there. For example, my friend Simone, um, her Instagram tag is uh, Schmo draws, draws, and I think she's amazing. She is so good at anatomy and drawing characters, so you should check her out. And for example, today I shared um, a picture of my friend Fabi, who is amazing in wa at watercolors, like. This is nothing compared to what she's doing. She's a magician, I think, when it comes to watercolors. So check out her Instagram. Um, and what else inspires me? There's a lot. I have a huge Pinterest board where I collect everything. And there are tons and tons of artists which I collect there, and for many I don't even know the names, which is a shame. Thanks for the links, Nina! 
Okay, since it's getting darker slowly, I should finally finish that. And I also, I always leave a tiny rest of coffee in my cup. Why? Oh, while I'm mentioning my friends, you, check, you should check out uh, Irina's Instagram too, because she makes absolutely beautiful, stunning lines and her characters are adorable. <laughs> What? You only want The Force Awakens? But don't worry, don't be ashamed. I have to confess, the first Star Wars movie I ever saw in my life, be prepared, is episode one, The Phantom Menace. <laughs> and I see that I don't like this part here because there has been a, there's a weird line going on here and I will try to repair this why is there purple in my blue The practical thing is, uh, if everything is under uh, uh, underwater, you can add blue to everything, and you don't have to pay attention at the edges too much. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm just giving him some more shading with the blue now. Maybe I should just stop doing it. I must confess, I I liked The Phantom Menace back then. You have to consider I was, I think, 11 years old. And for an 11-year-old who didn't watch the previous Star Wars movies, it was a pretty fun movie. I loved the pot racing back then. Back then. I thought it was amazing. It was my favorite sequence of the whole movie was the pot race. And I didn't like Jar Jar Binks. But he also didn't disturb me as much as he disturbs me now. So, uh, as an 11-year-old child, you can ignore it much better. Um, so, yeah, and I kind of liked it, and I found out that there were other episodes of Star Wars, because A, I really was into it in this moment, after Phantom Menace, so yes, it can make you a Star Wars fan. And um, then I watched the other episodes, and... I fell in love with Han Solo, of course. But I really hated episode 2. Like, episode 1 was, was okay, but 2 was terrible. I don't know. 
I really never enjoyed it. I gave him some shading on his teeth now and I'm going to actually consider him finished in several moments before I ruin everything. So the last thing I need to do now is, wait a second, hello new follower, hello moonflower. So now I take the gold color. And I won't use my water brush for it because for some reason those gold colors, they tend to stay in my water brushes forever. I never get them out. So I will just take some regular brush. Wait a second. So these are fine tag colors. I will write it also in my description before the questions repeat themselves. So I hope it updated now. So they look like this and you can get, um, this is a free, uh, you can buy the case in different colors which you like. And I first colors I had was those two. This is moon gold and this is Inca gold. And um, I ended up buying many more of them because I really like those colors. And first you need a bunch of water to make them come alive. I will take Inca gold for this one. Okay, let's try. As you can see, you have a beautiful gold thing going on here. Can you see it? There. And I will use this now to make her golden bikini golden. And try not to cover everything with my head.
Ta da! Look! It's golden! I dripped some water on here. By the way, I would consider this thing to be finished. Maybe just to have some special effects, I will do a little bit of a mess here. I take my water brush, make it really wet. Take a lot of the blue color. this. Because I really like the look of watercolor specs on drawings. Of course the danger of it is that you can drip them everywhere. So I just try to put it in the corners now and not ruin too much. But I've got Jabba get some of them too. But it's fine. Happy accident, uh, accidents, you know. And also my table, of course. This is what makes your your drawing table look like a real artist table. beautiful one. Also I just enjoy making a mess. I think I covered my whole screen which is in front of me with the specs right now, but whatever. Some bigger ones. <laughs> this one was not that good, but well. I will stop now before I actually ruin something. What you can do sometimes it's is soak up some of the color with paper. Because I kinda don't want it be too too dark there. Da magic. So, I think we can consider it a done now. What do you think, guys? <laughs> I'm sorry, Nina, that you cut yourself too. I'm constantly cutting myself and cutting vegetables. I'm, I'm stupid like that. 
and um, you asked about the black color it's I mean it's a little bit shiny as you can see it has fine glitter in it the problem is that when you use it on the paper and once it dries it's really subtle it's not super shiny it's it looks a little bit more matte it looks a little bit like nail polish actually like matte nail, nail polish with light sparkle it's an interesting effect but i'm not that convinced with the black one yet like the gold ones are super sparkly but the black one it's a little bit hmm, weird So yeah, now I will just try to not touch it before all of the water specks I did dry and in the end I will sign it. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining me in this adventure and I'm happy that I didn't completely ruin it. Like there are things in there where I'm not sure and I think I could have done better but you always have this feeling. Now I think I will maybe add some gold to her hair flower while I'm doing this, while I'm talking. But also, it's getting darker slowly and now it's time to finish anyways. Do you have any last questions? Thank you for all the compliments. Thank you. Thank you for being here. It's actually quite motivational to, to draw in front of the camera because you have a motivation to actually finish it and not start browsing on Facebook and so on. I know that I will have to clean my table now after all of this mess and especially my um, Cintiq tablet because I use it as a second screen right now. And I will have to clean it afterwards because of my water fun here. And yeah, this is the finished thing. My plaster, my band-aid looks disgusting. Um, I will let it dry and then I will also probably put some heavy box on top of it after it has dried to m make it flat again. Because it's a little bit waved as you can see. And of course I will be doing more drawing streams. I'm not sure yet when the next one will be. I'm trying to find out what times of the week are good streaming times. Um, what do you guys say? What, what are your preferred times? I mean evenings, obviously, because many people have work and stuff. I'm not happy with my bangs right now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm, I mean, I might do another one on Sunday. I'm not sure yet what my plans are on Sunday. I think Sundays are good times because um, people don't have work. They sit at home usually and they don't have anything else to do except watching drawing streams. I'm just holding it up to the, closer to the light so you can see it better. Um, yeah, Nina, Thursdays, I'm not sure. <laughs> I usually have plans on Thursday evenings. I'm not, I, I don't know. Um, but um, just keep watching my social media channels like twitter and uh, instagram and facebook and i will write there when i will be streaming next time when i know it right now i'm not sure i might stream on wednesday evening or on sunday evening is it good for you does it sound good does it sound good and of course you can 
follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter anyways and all of the links are below in in the big field they have pretty pictures on them and yeah also you might want to support me on Patreon which I have fresh and new since one month and if you like my art and want to help me survive as an artist and buy more art supplies and buy food and <laughs> just live a happy artist life you can become my a supporter on Patreon and get some exclusive things that other people don't. For example, I offer some layers of my digital artworks there so you can actually analyze how I work. Thank you for the link Nina, look at the link in the chat and follow it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's just a nice thing. I will still uh, post my artworks for free on the internet for everybody to see so you don't have to pay to see my art but if you want to have some exclusive previews and for example also some naked artwork with nipples <gasps> oh my god nipples uh, they are banned like everywhere on Facebook and on Instagram and so on there I'm always afraid to post them but on Patreon I also will post all the uncensored images because there it's locked only for my supporters um, yeah, on Twitter I can actually post nipples. <laughs> yeah, what else? I think we're done here. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and uh, tell everybody that my stream is amazing and that they have to watch it next time. Please, because I want to have more viewers. I want to feel love. <laughs> I kind of need some some bye bye sequence to not just leave the stream but disappear in style. How do I do this? <laughs> <laughs> Belly dancing gif. Flowing out of the screen slowly. <laughs> no, okay. Um, thank you all for watching. You can rewatch the video on Twitch for a limited time. I will upload it to YouTube later when I find some place with so much bandwidth that I can actually upload three hours of video. But it will be there in case you missed out on something and I don't know yet what I will be drawing next time but it will be amazing probably <laughs> or a total mess nobody know um, and yeah thank you so much it was great to have you here and I will clean my table now <laughs> have a good evening good night or wherever you are maybe you have a good morning now bye bye